reminded me. I said it three times. Finding ourselves in St. Croix after rough weather forced an unplanned detour. We decided to rest, regroup, and go on a whirlwind car tour of the island. Then, once again, we point our boat south on a three-day passage to Grenada. So meet me on that island Kiss me on that shore Hey, promise me that we'll sail away And I'll be yours forevermore Just promise me that we'll sail away And I'll be yours forevermore Tomorrow is likely the day that we're leaving. Last week, our long-awaited passage from the Virgin Islands to Grenada was finally upon us. Grenada's borders are not open uh, to anybody. But what has happened is one of the boating associations down there took it upon themselves to speak with the Grenadian government and work out a special deal just for cruisers, but you had to register for specific dates. Our dates are July 15th through the 17th. You have to be there during that little window. And so, officially on the clock, we hurried to prepare both our boat and ourselves for a potentially five-day passage in a weather window not of our choosing. This led to the discovery of an issue with our shaft seal, which almost sidelined us. Are you ready? But we pressed on and were soon shoving off for Grenada, only to be met with unexpected levels of wind and waves and a barrage of squalls. We actually saw a little bit of what looked like possibly weather on the horizon, so we reefed down just a little farther, and we were right. There's definitely some weather coming. Oh, big wave behind. Good times. And we eventually made the decision to detour to the temptingly close St. Croix. We are a crew of two four-year-olds, and we have to tell ourselves that a lot. All right, round two. And after a rough detour through even more storms, we sailed into the protected waters of Christianstead. Well, here we are. Entering St. Croix. Yeah. Detour. Notice this lovely land behind us? That's St. Croix. Hey, wait a minute. Yeah, we're in St. Croix. Not the middle of the Caribbean Sea or Grenada. How's your day been? I don't know. I want to say it's chill, but I feel like we've actually done like a lot. I mean, it's it is Fundy Day here at Old Sail Away. This is how we ingratiate ourselves to a, a new location. We show up and uh, just hang up all of our underwear for everybody to see. Well, it's maybe not a busy day. It's not quite the right word. We haven't been like hustling and bustling, but kind of cleaning up things that Frankly, I wish we would have gotten round to before we left in the first place. Um, kind of cleaning up the aftermath of all the crazy sailing. Now we're day drinking. I think we deserve it. We do deserve it. So this is our <laughs> version of just like yeah. not doing anything. Coming back to, to central. Yeah. And uh, I think tomorrow we're going to try to rent a car. Just kind of go cruise around the island. For now, we're going to sit here and stare at St. Croix and drink our drinks. Oh, hey, I got 
I drive on the left. Thanks for reminding me. I said it three times. <laughs> it says right there, keep left. Yeah, I did. Where to first? Where to first? When Frederick's dead, keep planning to sail over here. Never happened. seen like 10 minutes of but Frederickstead's pretty cool. So delay for another week and uh, just come over to Frederickstead. Let's look at the weather and see what happens. <laughs> yeah. After Frederickstead, we found ourselves cruising down St. Croix's famous Mahogany Road. through beautiful farmland and twisting mountain roads. Until we found ourselves at the highest overlook we could find. Finally back down and through one of the coolest hideaway marinas we'd ever seen. And then finally made our way back down a crazy winding dirt road. Fully cleansed, rebooted, and ready to take on passage attempt number two. All right, here's to the start of uh, try number two to Grenada. Deja vu. <laughs> I know. We got a new system. The paddle boards. Let's hope they work. Stay on there today. Nothing else is tied down. Well, it's just a little blustery today, but we're heading out again. Forecast is about 15 to 16, gusting into the low 20s today until later today, like this evening. And then it should steadily drop off as we go until we're in pretty light wind in the next day or two. Um, so today might be our last day of kind of rough sailing and possibly possibly uh, some squalls but hopefully not. No idea those things would be such a pain in the ass. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> 
high a freeboard as this boat has, you'd think they'd be fine up there. Big wave. Oh, that wasn't that big. After that sail, oh, here's couple, a big one. Sail a couple days ago. None of these are that big, are they? So we want it's a lot better than what we had before. Is this more fun today or the last time we went down? With all the squalls, the um, rain. It was both? You like both? <laughs> yeah. is coming to an end or at least the sun's going down and our day one the second time around was way better than our day one the first time around um, hopefully it continues this way because it's been freaking awesome yeah we had to dick around with paddle boards stupid things uh, but we didn't lose them this time and now they're strapped down on the deck other than that you know, we, we are sailing into the wind, so it's a bit of a beat, and which means we're heeled over. It's not the most comfortable point of sail, but our angle to the waves has been really good. Cecilia's definitely in her element. Wind's been about, I mean, anywhere from 11 to 12 up to 16, 17, uh, mostly right around 14 or so all pretty much as forecast so can't really complain we're making tracks right now we're kind of pointed towards st lucia and then just planning to kind of slowly arc more and more toward grenada the closer we get the more east we get kind of building in some safety by going more east and uh getting ready to settle in for our night shifts rivers has already got movie time going on downstairs Looking pretty good at the moment. I feel like we should be further along than we are. <laughs> it's kind of always the case, isn't it? Uh, I guess so. <laughs> I'd say so. We are further along than we were the first time. thunderstorms showed up so we are attempting to dodge them that's what we're looking at right now on our radar and we have changed course and are running with the wind pretty much it looks like it is more or less dissipating and it hasn't quite caught up to us we got a little bit of its wind and then we got more of them up here so we're kind of hoping <laughs> that we can outrun this one and it'll disintegrate and then we can start to turn back up wind and duck in behind this one. Otherwise, a pretty darn good night. We've been hauling major ass in the right direction until now. We will uh, update you on how this little uh, game of Frogger goes. Well, we did it. We managed to uh, stay ahead of that big one and it dissipated before it caught us. Sometimes it's really nice to have radar. It works great for that. So, I'm gonna take my my uh, sleep shift and I'll just took over the helm. See you in a few hours.
Motoring! What's your price for flight? And finding this to right, you'll be alright tonight. I'm glad that you had to do that twice. <laughs> you had to do it once for me, and then you thought it was funny enough to do it again for the camera. <laughs> so we're motoring. So it's just a segue. Uh, we had a really good night last night. I can't say there's really any real complaints, right? I mean, I slept well, you slept well, the river slept really well. Back there in his room, and all the motion and all the noise, just passed out, man. Didn't wake up till 8.30. But uh, as we saw with the weather forecast, um, the wind is starting to lighten and go a little more east-southeast. Uh, so we are now motoring and kind of pointed ourselves just a little more eastward, but uh, yeah, it's been going great. I've got a fun new little toy I've been playing with. This is our InReach satellite communicator, and I, know, I gotta say this thing has been really awesome. But this has been allowing us to send emails to our patrons about our location, showing them our track. And I'm also getting weather reports through this thing, and they're really good, they're really detailed. So that's been a fun new toy that's been working really, really well for us so far. As far as time goes, uh, we're eating up a lot of miles. We were going so fast last night. Man, I bet we were averaging seven knots. So we are over a third of the way there already. It's all about killing time on a passage. Oh. The one card game we can all play together is Uno! Yeah, Uno! Had a day of movie oh, watching, lounging, a little guitar playing, so videoing, cushion rescuing, salad eating, snacking. That's hey. pretty much it. I better get to it. Same pile. We'll take our game very seriously. trying to cook anything decent on a boat. So I usually can't quite hack it down here. Something has changed recently. I feel like that. So we'll see. Stays the case. night was pretty uneventful but it was really tiring and I think it's because we've actually had wind this trip. We're settling in nicely for day three on our current track uh, and current speed which is varying a little bit. We should be getting into Grenada um, tomorrow afternoon sometime. If we head up and truly trim the crap out of it, we can sail much closer to the wind than that. We can get up to right around 30 degrees off the wind, 35. But, you know, then the boat's on its ear, and that's just not a fun thing to do for hours on end. So, we've kind of discovered this is sort of our threshold, and we kind of just plan our routes around this being our kind of tightest point of sail that we want to do. But with the wind moving a little east, um, and we are pointed right at Grenada now, that means that once it starts to do that, we'll be able to just ease the sails out, 
flatten out a little bit and gain some speed and just make tracks. So. Good morning. Well, it's our final night and uh, got by a few storms. Uh, we've seen a couple boats. Now we're getting a little closer to Grenada. It's been windy all night, man. We've been just marching along. Man, we've been making time. I, I don't, I haven't looked at the uh, chart to see what our estimated arrival time is right now, but I think it's morning. Um, so we've just been hauling ass, doing seven knots most of the night. So, so far we've sailed well over two thirds of it. Um, had to motor a big chunk yesterday, and that's about it. So, I'll give you a few glimpses of this pretty sunrise, and uh, we'll get back with you when the rest of the crew is awake. Friday, but we are getting very, very close. And I kept looking at the screen and thinking, oh, we should be able to see land by now. Turns out I can't. Definitely land right there. 13 nautical miles, it says. Officially out of the hurricane zone. For hurricanes. So that feels good. We made it. We're not there yet, obviously, but like, I think now we'll be able to get help, which is a really nice feeling. Oh, I'm ready to stop moving and uh, get settled in, and then get this quarantine over and explore. We are sitting right outside the point, so we can slide in there uh, in minutes. Proceed in, please proceed in. Rig vessel to starboard side. Rig vessel to starboard side. Roger that, starboard. Uh, we'll see you in a few minutes. Thank you. Bye-bye. Join us next week as we hoist our Q flag in Grenada and begin our 14 days of enforced quarantine at anchor aboard our boat. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and ring that bell. And a huge thanks to all our patrons for their additional support. If you'd like to become a member of our crew, just check out our Patreon link in the description. Cheers. But I'll be listless and lonely if I didn't have you to hold me as the sun sets and miles roll by. Miles roll by